praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This night is Jesus. I want to sing one thing. Palala, palala. Palala, palala. Emi jola jeso. Palala, palala, palala. I praise God for everything they do in my life. God give me health. Give me energy. Give me everything to work for God. I pray God will give everybody here in the name of God. I don't keep you to clock something very short. In Jesus' name. I'm saying God for the salvation of my soul. I came out this morning to say, I don't want to be grateful. I don't want to be ungrateful to God. I was so, let me say I was so rich. I was not good. So, just then, um, last week, I was saying I was going to ask my aunt in the US to send me money. But I was just saying I wasn't going to ask anybody, I wasn't going to ask anybody. I just asked. And luckily for me, just yesterday, I asked today for yesterday. Now, yesterday, she told me that her husband is going to be in town today. That she just go and collect. Before I even asked, she already had to be in mind. So God has been mindful of me. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God for the Jordan Messi. I went to work in the newspaper and, and I drove down. I got recently to Benin, Iroi, Poma, Urumi, where I went to work, and I came back safely. But when I got to Ori, I saw an accident that made my heart skip. A trailer skipped to the other lane and ran into some shops, and there was so much fire. And with that, I, I was afraid that I had to slow down. I was driving 40 kilometers gently. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank God that I came safely. I want to thank God for my health too. That God gave me good health from Amen. the death of today in Jesus' name. Amen. And God will continue to keep you safe in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Last Wednesday was my brother's birthday, and on that day he was scheduled for a surgery, a respiratory surgery. During the service, Pastor prayed for healing, and he prayed for respiratory problems. To the glory of God, he went for that surgery. There was no mistake, and he's alive to death. He's here. Yeah. 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 I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul, and for his goodness and mercy upon my life and every member of my family. We have been traveling here and there, sometimes on air, on the road, and God has been granting us joy messages. I want to thank God specifically concerning my office, the new office I just opened. So I have some things inside it. I thank God that God is helping me to sell them. And most especially, there's a, a certain of bottles I inherited from uh, my uncle's wife. So it happens that it is the old time. And seven up company refused to take it. I just said, uh, how I cannot just throw these things away. So it was last week when they came to supply. One lady just came to my office and said, ah, you will sell all these things. I said, I sent it. She said she will help me to buy. And she came back and told me that they refused to take it. So later on, the people came back. They said they would take the uh, bottles again. Now, they have changed all my bottles. I praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. For my family. Fat, he has been there for us. He has been providing for us. I also want to thank God for something that happened yesterday between me, my family, and my fat, my in-laws. It was as if there were thousands of them. The only one that was here yesterday was pack out, die, kill. So it was so much that I had to, I left the house, I came to pass her, and I just passed her. I don't have prayed for me that I should go back to the house after he admitted that they will change. And to God be the glory, when I got to, the next thing I had, from the mouth of that person that was in kill, die, pack out. He was not the one telling me that, hey, how are we going to do this matter? Do we really hate, do you really hate us like this? And I said, nothing, I don't think so, nothing happened, I don't even understand what is happening. And I said, okay, we should be at peace. I find it also, now we should be in peace. Okay. We should be God. Because God, who said that you know God? God is God. Yes, yes. If I did God, I would not do it. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God for the salvation of the soul of my family. I advance for the ones that are yet to be saved. I just want to give God all the glory for my life, for his faithfulness. I travel 
a few weeks ago, got to me from a back, I give him all the praise. But especially, I want to thank God for what he did for me this week. On um, Monday evening, after I finished working in the kitchen, I was trying to go to the front here to join the service, and I realized that I had sharp pain in my left foot, the side of my left foot. I was like, okay, I thought this face down that it would go up. It kept getting worse gradually. On Tuesday, I couldn't go for anything about because I couldn't even say, get out of my bed. It was excruciating. It wasn't the bone, it wasn't the joint, just the side of my left foot. It was so painful, but I just managed to come to church that afternoon. But in the time, I was at the service, I went to be pastor. Even though I already prayed and anointed me, I was like, my mantle. I went to be pastor, pastor anointed me as well that Tuesday. I came for any favor I was on Wednesday to the worship service. And there was a word that came from the other that there is healing in the house. I received it, though the pain had um, subsided a bit. But I went back home that Wednesday, I took a nap, and praise God, because I am one of the fast guests, so I get up fast in my bed, I'm not this slow, because I just got up and jumped on my bed, and I realized, wow, the day has gone. I don't lose it, God, God, praise God. Amen. Praise God. I thank God for the salvation of my soul, and I want to thank God that even though my boss refused me from going to camp on Friday, I got angry and I refused to do the work. But I took him and I couldn't hear with my two ears. But the right one opened and the left is yet to open. But I still give God the glory because it will definitely open in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and I want to thank God for my family at large. Uh, specifically, I want to thank God for what happened on Wednesday where after doing the service, my little girl, during the service, she cried all through when we left the church. My wife told me that she doesn't know what is happening to her. She cried all through and we got to her. When we got to her, she continued crying. So what kind of thing is this one? We would have taken her to the pastor and after the service when he knew that she was crying and we kept praying. Kept praying. The crying persisted. I see there's somebody in the spiritual flogging her that like, you were just be crying, crying. We started praying, we did everything we could. I anointed her, we did everything. And I said this thing is beyond ordinary. That madam, please let me be doing some other thing at home. You carry out to pastor. It was to 10 10 and she brought her to the pastor. Pastor prayed for her. She, uh, he anointed her and they came back home. And shortly the thing continued again. So said this thing. This thing is more than ordinary. And she went into the bedroom in the bedroom. She took water and she, while I was praying with her, she came with water and prayed that this water should turn to the blood of Jesus. And she began to anoint the room and she anointed her. Just like you imagine, it, she just kept quiet. Amen. And she started sleeping. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I came to give God the glory. It was early this morning. I think around to, according to the record my wife gave, uh, a little boy just started crying. And I woke up. And she said, this guy has been crying since... Uh, I don't want my sleep to be disturbed. But I went, I usually go back to, the, uh, to bed, bed, or studies. So I just, just went back to sleep. You should know what to do. So, she came back again around to four. Almost 4 o'clock, I'm going to be like, come and see this guy, I've been crying since that time I told you something else to be done. I said, ah. so I wrote that to God. He said, what's wrong? He said, this one of the years, he has been holding it, he prayed, and then she has prayed for him, anointed him. And usually, the guy wakes up to eat biscuits and take, uh, you know, this uh, drink they take. He said, but this time around, he refused it completely. He said, wow, okay, bring the child. Please don't mind. So, what is wrong with your hair? Checked. Bring the lights. Said, the guy, guy kept crying consistently. I said, okay, get me here. I'm not hurt in my spirit. Holy Spirit, what should I do now? We can't go to the hospital. We can't go to the this night. Said, get your anointing oil. And I'm tell him, then this is not for everybody. Coming out medication. Said, put it right inside the ear. Pour some in, in both ears. So that Paul will not. I said, okay, bring it. Clean the ear with cotton ball. Then pour the anointing oil. And pray. And said, everything is comforting you. I command you to get out in the name of Jesus. And that was it. Before we finished praying, she was already losing. Yes, stop crying. Yes, yes, yes. Give God all the glory. Yes, yes. 
Night time will come before morning. If you read the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 5, Genesis chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible says that in the evening and the morning was the first day. Evening is night. Evening comes before the morning. In the evening and the morning were the first day. If you read verse 13, 19, 23, 31. Each of the days they kept on telling us in the evening and the morning. In the evening and the morning. Meaning that the agenda of God, the night time will come before that morning. So if you are going through a painful period, what is night time? Night time happens to be times that things are not going on well in your life. Whatever that time is, or that thing is in your life, I have come to announce to you, based on the knowledge of God, that you are entering into your season of rejoicing. <laughs> You are entering into your season of rejoicing. I told us that when we were growing up as little children, whenever I had done something wrong and my dad had not come, my dad would be the one that he would report to. And he would be telling me, harassing me in advance, even though he had not come, that when he comes, I will tell. When he comes, uh, when he comes, I will tell. And by the time he will come, and maybe I told him. You will just enter the room, meaning that there will be a king. But at that point in time, will be the time for food. My sister will be now making just of me. Say that, which one choose? Eating first or cleaning first? <laughs> you know, I don't be angry with them. But most time, I would like the king first. So that there will be a joy for him. <laughs> and from the start into your life, that whatever pain that you have been going through, the joyful season has started. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. There is no pain that is supposed to last forever. I, I put up the TV yesterday, you know, the media, and just few moments, like, something just struck me. And that you was speaking about the new beginning. He said that everything that has the beginning has an ending. He said that if you actually know that <clears throat> that problem, began somewhere, ah, it is so definite that it must end. There is only God that you cannot say that he has an end because you do not, you nobody know knows the beginning. That's why I prophesy into your own life that whatever has begun in your life that is not palatable, it ended today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. But the particular time that I told us of the old car that used to give me so much stress those days, that car, was a car that, you know, you know, a car that will have a mind, mind of his own. <coughs> he may decide, I'm not happy to do this. <laughs> he may say, ah, you are going on the road. Let me relax, I'll be waiting to order cars. <laughs> you know, that kind of car. But before the end of that year, God blessed me with two cars in one week. And they don't have money of their own. Whatever I tell you, I prophesy you to your life that your season of pain has ended now. Are you already seeing that, Pastor? This thing has been going on for so long and I've not seen anything. Peter also talked that in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 5. Luke 5, 5. Jesus Christ told um, him, Lord, I know the deed. He said that I have toiled all night. But verse 6, he said that, but I tell what? Let me just do this. And if this is what happened, we got the breakthrough. Your breakthrough is starting now. In the name of Jesus. So thank God I've just finished the ministration that God has laid in my heart. He has just told me, after the night will come joy. And your joyful season has started. Please touch your feet and say, Father, I receive your word. And I believe that the season of rejoicing is starting now. In the name of Jesus. I receive your word, and I believe the season of rejoicing is starting now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, we thank you for your word that has come to us. We believe, we receive, and let there be quick manifestation. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen.